I know some thugs that, that didn't mind marching with Dr. Martin Luther King and did not mind standing up for injustice anywhere. I have known some thugs. Now, see, y'all don't always recognize some thugs. Because in modern day, these different kind of thugs, they don't drop down their pants. They don't show their behind. They don't walk around with a T-shirt. They put on Brooks Brothers suit. They polish their shoe. They walk into the place and demand respect because they have the degrees, they have the intelligence, and they have the weapons. What kind of weapons do they have? They have weapons of mass information. <laughs> a lot of folks walk around talking about, I want to be a thug. You need to be real with them and tell them real thugs are math thugs. The different kind of thugs we got now are spiritual thugs. The different kind of thugs we have now are folk that can assassinate you not with spears, not with knives, not with guns, but with their thinking, with their planning, with their strategic development. We, we moved. I mean, you were in kindergarten. Anybody in kindergarten? Anybody ever been in kindergarten? Somebody? Some of y'all went to kindergarten? Can anybody remember kindergarten? Oh, wow, y'all are young. Look here. When you're in kindergarten and somebody took something from you, you didn't know better but to snatch it back, right? That's right. You went and got yours. And, and, and some of us were raised in such a way that not only did we go get the ours, but we took a swing at the person that took it. Hello? Oh, none of y'all? I'm sorry. Another group. Right group. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, but with that, when you got older, you stopped swinging like a kindergartner. You are no longer in the, you should not act cardinal anymore. We have moved in because of the spirit of God in us, because of the way God uses us. We are indeed a different kind of thug. We don't have to be kindergartners no more. We don't have to be babies no more. We don't have to be little children no more. We can be the power and vessels of God. We can move forward in mighty ways. But you got to know, and, and here's the cut, you got to know what kind of thug you are. Hello, somebody. You got to know what kind of thug you are. I remember... We had come home from, from, from something one day, and I was mad at somebody. The brother had, had I don't know, do y'all still have this word, disrespected? Y'all yeah. still have that word, that term, terminology? He had disrespected me somehow. And I got, I got in the car with all my thuggish friends, and we're going to go teach him a lesson. Okay? We went down to the Shady Rest, and I had a, we, I had, I had, I had a, a motley group of friends. I, I didn't have, none of my friends were in the chess club. We got down into the Shady Rest, and I, I was going to teach his brother a lesson. You know. And somebody said, well, there, there, there's his house. He stayed with his grandfather. And dude reached over, and he handed me a gun. I was going to shoot up the house. And when he handed me the gun, River Garrett, I looked at it. And I looked at the house. And you know, God will mess with you. That house ain't look nothing like my granddaddy's house, but at that moment, all I could see was my granddaddy sitting up there watching them Atlanta Braves on TV and me shooting in these people's house. You got to know what kind of thug you are. The brother beside me grabbed the gun out of my hand, put it back where he was and started laughing. He said, nah, you ain't going to shoot nobody. He said, you might shoot somebody in your way. You ain't going to point no gun at no house and shoot nobody. He said, you got a future. You don't need to be out here fooling around with us with this foolishness. That ain't who God made you to be. He said, what were you thinking? Now, now here's a brother that would have shot up the house like that, rebuking me for being stupid, thinking I was like him. He said, 
that's not who 